The 2011 general election is over, with Fine Gael scoring 76 seats and huge growth for Labour and Sinn Féin. The Dundalk Democrats spoke to members of the public to ask how satisfied they are with the result both locally and nationally. It's great to see Fianna Fáil getting chucked out for all that they've done. All those guys walked through that, that lobby and they voted for the IMF bailout. They voted to put the tax on ordinary people for what the banks have done. But to put Fine Gael in, in such numbers, it doesn't really represent the, any change for me, to be honest. I don't understand why Labour are getting into bed with Fine Gael, to be honest, because they, they ought to be polar opposites. They ought to be completely different. The Labour Party should be, at the very least, soft left. But they're just getting into bed with, with Fine Gael, who are, who are going to be more austere and you know, cut more taxes and more stealth taxes than Fianna Fáil did. So it, it's a slightly depressing result, to be honest, from that perspective. It, not bad. I wouldn't be exactly mad for Fine Gael, but no. We need a change. I think they do better than uh, Fianna Fáil, anyway. Anyone could do better than them. The result was very good. Um, we needed a change a long time ago, long before it happened. Do you see much potential in a, in a Fine Gael Labour coalition? Yes, it worked very, very well the last time they were in, extremely well. And um, in actual fact, the, the Labour Minister uh, for, fi for Finance was extremely good and they left the country in a very stable position. I don't think it makes any odds who really gets in. I think the country is finished as it is and I've very little hope for the country because we owe so much money it's impossible to get ourselves out of this debt. It, traditionally I wouldn't be happy with the result of the election but I think for the, for the sake of the country and something new it it's what was needed. They have an awful big majority as well and it should be stable government for the five years but I think that's what the country needs, you know, but uh, I hope they do. I think Brian Cowan's biggest fault was his lack of communication with the people and with his own cabinet maybe and I think Enda Kenny, I'd always be a bit wary of Enda Kenny because um, I don't know, he, he seems a bit like an American sort of a politician. In 2002 or 2007 his motto was sign the contract, sign the contract. In 2011, it was his five-point plan. I think maybe he'll be more forthright and maybe he'll do a monthly, let the people know what's happening with the country, you know, which would be very important. But that was Brian Cowan's biggest downfall, I think. I'm very happy with the result of the election, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, they will make a difference to the country because the country's in a bad way and we need new stock, you know. Well, I'm a Labour supporter and a member of the local party. Uh, Mary Moran had an exceptional vote. Obviously, that carried... Her running mate Jared Nash through, delighted with that. Uh, very disappointed with Jerry Adams topping the poll. Um, I don't think he's going to offer any real representation for Dundalk. Uh, Peter Fitzpatrick getting elected, very good, a local uh, TD in government, which is always excellent. Uh, nationally, I think it's good. Finna get a neighbour of a lot ahead of them, a lot of job, a lot of work to do. Obviously, it was left to them by a very incompetent Fianna Fáil government. So the next few days will tell a lot, you know, what sort of coalition is hammered out and I wish them all the best.